Hey everybody, so this is the um, video where I post my results from all of the long hard work that I've been doing these past six months. Um, so just to recap, last summer I got into this HHO stuff and I said, okay, I'm going to buy a kit, um, you know, for a hundred bucks. Uh, you know, I could save 30 to 70 percent on gas. It's what people were telling me. Awesome. So I bought a kit. I did some videos on the different kits that I got. Um, they're all wet cells. Um, so they're sort of like jar of water kind of deals. They're not the, you know, super intense, like titanium 50 plate crap like that now. Um, because I'm a poor grad student and I don't have money for that kind of stuff. So, um, so I took some ethic stock. Um, I did a whole test. Please see my procedure video um, about what I did for these tests because otherwise none of this is going to make sense. So go watch that right now. Um, okay, so assuming that you have watched that video, um, here are the results. The results are that um, according to my data, which is some of the best out there, I will, I will say that. I have not seen anyone actually use a scientific method to examine HHO technology. Um, I didn't get significant results. There's no, there's no difference between um, between the four conditions, which were stock, HHO, no chip, chip, no HHO, and chip and HHO. So again, go see the procedure video for all more in depth on that. Um, so I tested all four conditions, and they were all the same. They were all the same. So the numbers were about 27 mile per, miles per gallon in each condition, uh, regardless of presence of HHO or chip. Um, and all I'm reporting right now is the highway stats because um, because I was I don't I didn't have time to complete the town stats and the, H, the horsepower stats were um, weren't reliable enough. Um, again, more of that in the procedure video. Anyway, so that's so that's it. Um, that's that's what I found. Um, and the data is there, and it's some of the only stuff um, like I. Like I, I've said in some other videos, um, there's uh, the vendors haven't done enough to provide data, which makes sense if this is a hoax because their data would show you that their product doesn't work. So I'm not here telling you that that's the case, but um, you should be skeptical based on my data. I believe you should be skeptical based on my data. So anyway, that's the data, and um, for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to pop up an image of my data. There it is. Beautiful. And um, notice that there is a link below this video and below the rest of my videos about um, to a Google Docs folder which has all of my all this more in depth. It's got the list of controls, the procedure, um, as well as um, all the data sheets and the graphs and printouts and stuff. So, um, so go check that out. I'm going to try and get my torque screenshots up there too. Um, just in case I don't, anyone's feeling particularly argumentative and is going to try and say that <laughs> I didn't do any work these past six months. So um, anyway, so that's all up, and this is this is the results. So according to Techie Pride's scientific investigation of HHO, uh, it doesn't improve your miles per gallon um, based on my results. So I think you should be skeptical of this technology. And the next video is going to be how to how to interpret these results. Um, because it's really important uh, to understand these results in the context of scientific investigation. Um, you know, why you shouldn't take my word for, for this um, and why there needs to be more testing. So that's coming next. Um, check that out. I'm going to post that in the responses. Take your pride in signing off. to kill me twice Oh how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom to be paid That's what I'm counting on I used to want you dead But now I only want you gone Was a lot like you, maybe not quite as heavy. Now little